long time no see i don't know how long i'll be able to keep this up because you all know i've been in and out of youtube for some time now but i felt like vlogging today i've been kind of lately feeling like i should start vlogging again so i have been vlogging but it just doesn't get edited or posted on youtube like it doesn't see the light of day but today i'm gonna try i'm gonna try it out today okay i'm gonna be i'm off work today it's my off friday i want to go check out this new coffee shop that i keep seeing on instagram so i am gonna be packing my coffee shop tote bag with you guys and i just have my hive tote bag that i just washed that's why it looks like it got pulled out of someone's but i'm also gonna pack a smaller tote just in case i don't want to bring my big tote because i am gonna pack some yarn so i can crochet i i don't know if i want to read or crochet at the coffee shop so i want options i really got into crocheting so um that's why my yarn stash is getting big again i got into it before actually it was like 10 years ago was it 10 years ago it was after college that's for sure like was i doing youtube already probably not no i was already yeah so i was crocheting on the download i don't know it was i guess it was not not a cool thing to share that you're crocheting but i was doing those cute little amigurumis and i was making them for for my friends so I got into crocheting again and I've been like making all these things. So I'm gonna bring my light blue yarn. I wanna make a. I don't know how to talk to the camera anymore. I wanna make a Koya earphone, headphone cover. I made a Shooky one. So I want like a, another, like a matching pair for that. I'm gonna bring. Whoops, oh, there's my lipstick. And I have my pens. Oh, and then my hooks. I think these are the hooks that I'll be using. Where's my purple one? These are actually the ones that I started with. The skinny ones. But then, then I found these at Daiso for a dollar fifty, and they're so cute. And they're the ergonomic ones. I, these are like the cheapest crochet hooks i've seen i was like you know i'm gonna try to get back into it i don't want to, i don't want to spend too much money on it because i don't know how long i can um how long i'm gonna be into it so i wanted to start slow we're gonna do this slow and steady so i'm gonna bring my two hooks um i have my pens here in case i want to journal too see I, I i don't know what the mood will be my actual journal and my bullet journal Yes, I actually still do bullet journal. I have my Kindle and a physical book. Sometimes I like reading a physical book when I'm at a coffee shop. Sometimes I like reading it in a Kindle, so it's in my Kindle also. I'm gonna be bringing both of them. This is my heavily used tote bag. Oh, I need to put my, do I wanna put my pins? Oh, and I'm wearing my D-Day shirt today. I was supposed to go hiking today too, but that's not gonna happen anymore. So I'm just gonna go to a coffee shop, sit, read, have lunch. It's like 11.35. It's probably gonna take me an hour to get there because of traffic. <laughs> I'm so cute. Okay. Honestly, I don't know how people vlog because every time I have to set the camera down, like that takes time. <laughs> It does take longer when I'm filming things and the pro my problem was is that I will vlog it and then I would never post it so I guess it's just for me I don't know maybe I'll I'll post it one of these days but like what's the point I don't know I have like these inner dialogues with myself sometimes like this okay let's get going <laughs> I know. Alright, let's go on an adventure. Let's turn this down. Well, I'm not even monetized yet. What am I doing? It's fine. Uh, no, but I'll keep the music down. I decided that I want to start vlogging again because I have this 
issue of me like being like like a perfectionist I've always had this problem like I have to have like the ideal setup or I have to be doing something fun to like film or I have to be in a certain mood to film okay the mood thing may be that's that's valid but I have this thing where I want to do something but I think about it to no end that I end up not doing it deciding that I just need to do it also I am just at a point in my life where I'm like still trying to figure things out to be honest for me it helps kind of like going back on these videos when I'm doing some reflection like the last video that I posted on this this channel like I rewatched that because I was like okay this was me oh that was like a year ago already I still kind of feel the same way like I'm on that same boat still so I need to figure something out also I'm trying not to go on Instagram too much I used to be able to put out like at least one video a week on YouTube write my blog while I had a 9 to 5 and I was even in a relationship like how was I doing all of this <laughs> the main thing was I, I'm just like really distracted right now with reels and thank god I like I'm not on TikTok anymore like I don't even think I have the app anymore I think I deleted it because it was just a like rabbit hole it, it's so easy to get like sucked in and just scroll for three hours like you thought you were only like scrolling for 15 minutes but no you're there for three five hours and that's not healthy I recognize I had a problem so I was like you know what we need to quit it so I'm not on TikTok anymore I, I can't be of like in the mindset that I need to be everywhere all at once like I gotta pick my poison <laughs> so it's Instagram and YouTube I don't want to go back on TikTok like I'm not I'm actually gonna delete I'm actually gonna delete my account at some point I just haven't gotten to it yet Twitter is another thing that's another like time drain so I started turning off like all my notifications for that because I was like I don't need to know everything I don't need to know everything it's okay if I don't know everything oh my god it's so brown here now it's not green anymore it was also because like I had Twitter notifications on because I was really trying to keep up with BTS news and I know this was like a problem that I had last year was like I was just consuming too much BTS content and you know it was the same like a few months later again but now I'm like trying to fix that I'm trying to be more mindful about how I'm spending my time so I have been trying to get back into like reading again and then I picked up crocheting which helps me immensely because something about me like working with my hands and I'm just like lasered focus on getting this thing done and then seeing something like oh my god I created something um, so crocheting has been really helping and the fact that I can like do like cute cutesy stuff like stuff that I would want to use is fun it all got started because of my Dechita like army light stick I was like wow like I need this I need this I don't know what I'm doing does anyone know what they're doing nobody knows oh, oh and also I'm trying to get back into hiking I have been going on my hot girl walks after work like I've been pretty consistent with that at least like for a week or two now so I'm proud of that look at this tall push of jasmine wow
lunch at highly liking highly likely and I am highly likely recommending that place it was actually pretty good um, I really enjoyed the burrito and the coffee was pretty tasty I think it's a bit it would be a bit crowded like on the weekends so it's Friday right now and I feel like people are at work so it wasn't too bad. I found like a cute little corner to sit at and enjoy my meal. Oh, and there's street parking. I think street parking might be difficult on the weekends. I don't know. Uh, to go, please. Can I get your name? Ann, E and an E. That is going to be 660. Thank you. Powder. How I feel about this strawberry matcha. Literally sprinkled powder. <laughs> strawberry powder in it, but I'm gonna try it right now. Okay. The strawberry the strawberry flavor is there, but just interesting that they have strawberry powder instead of like puree or something would I would I get this again probably not but let me try it again actually I get I don't know the strawberry powder like really threw me off because when I've had strawberry matcha drinks it's either a strawberry milk or a strawberry puree with like a matcha latte I thought about getting coffee but I was like I really need to cut down on coffee because I looked at my coffee spending from this year alone and I've already spent almost a grand just on coffee and it's only been six months this year Last year, I looked at my coffee spending and it was like around a grand. But also this year, I like went into higher gear with my coffee spending. Like I was getting coffee every single day. That adds up. I know they say, you know, get your latte or whatever. Like it's not gonna make a difference. Yes, it does. So I'm trying to be better about that. Um, also you know having coffee every day i mean i'm only having like one cup of coffee but on weekends i would have three cups of coffee because i would go cafe hopping i think it's good just in moderation everything that i've been doing for like the past six months has not been in moderation so we are trying to reel it back in you know we still have like the second half of the year and i'm gonna try to make some changes I haven't driven on this side of town on a Friday afternoon in a long time and I forgot how bad traffic is around this hour like this time it's like 3 45 I'm trying to get home right now I wanted to do more um over there but I was like I'm tired I want to go home I want to crochet I want to be comfortable I might go on my hot girl walk when I get back We'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll start editing this video. I just want to talk for a little bit. I realize that tomorrow is Yoongi's last two shows in Seoul. And I am not watching it. <laughs> I'm going to skip this one now. You know what? This is a good practice for me not to have FOMO. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to let other people share their highlights from the show i'm sure he's gonna bring out special guests um he's he's in his home turf so but i'm not staying up <laughs> at 3 a.m to watch a concert that i've seen like 90 percent of like three times already i'm also like just 
kind of tired of spending money on on BTS. Like I didn't think I was gonna get to that point, but I was like I just started asking more questions. I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm trying to reel it back in with uh, with my BTS spending. I mean, I've been. I think I've been pretty good so far. Like, I've been. I haven't been like buying random stuff. Um, I did go to the pop up that they had, and I didn't buy anything. I walked out of the store. I bought nothing. <laughs> I was just like looking around, window shopping, because I was like, you know, I have a lot of this stuff already and I'm like not using it so I actually need, need to go through my BTS bin and like see which items I can declutter because to be honest if they're in a bin like I'm not using it and maybe that's growth <laughs> maybe that's growth that I am being more mindful about like what I'm spending my money on. You know, if that makes you happy, that's fine. But I think the values that I want to have, like I, I still want to be on this like not minimalism. So I still want to, I still want to practice intentionality. And me impulsively buying items that like I saw on social media is not being intentional. So I realize that. I realize that I have issues <laughs> I'm happy I found BTS and all that stuff like I don't regret any of it but also um, I was just kind of thinking about like what kind of triggered my impulsiveness again kind of thing and I realized I was it was like I was feeling lonely I was not talking about my feelings or whatsoever um, yeah, just like stuff like that, but yeah, my battery's about to die, so I'll catch you guys later. Oh, it's on. So yeah, I think I'm gonna edit this video. I don't know where I last ended, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye!